Hey, good evening. It's uh, yours truly again, Marcus. So I, I uh, it's been a while. Uh, I know I'm back, but it's also been a while that I've created a video. And for the last few months, I've been deliberating and contemplating on uh, uh, creating this video. Uh, and it just took me in a span of two minutes to finally decide because of a comment on social media. And now I have the guts to confront my fears and finally explain to you guys my position on two things. My political affiliation. So this is a full disclaimer now, all right? And all this time, you guys have known me as being, trying to be unhypocritical, uh, saying what I, what's on my mind uh, and trying to validate it why I said so. So this is my chance, all right? This is my opportunity now. To, to tell you guys that, okay, this is it. On two positions, my political affiliation and my position on firearms, all right? So let's start with the firearm business here. Um, as a young teenager, see, high school in the Philippines, I, I didn't come to America till uh, 1987. Uh, no, 86, 86. Oh, damn, man, I'm, I'm just getting old, man. Alzheimer's kicking in. Uh, in the late 70s, I was in high school, 76 to 79. Uh, high school back home is different from high school here. Uh, high school back home, you get trained in military science. Um, you're in uniform, and you can volunteer to go what we call a cadet officer's training course. Then you move into college, wherein everybody everybody is expected to uh, perform two years of reserve officers training course this is brought about because uh, the, the government back home is fighting two fronts the communist party of the philippines with its government arm the new people's uh, army uh, with communist party of the philippines with its military arm the new people's army which proliferates up north and the right extreme wing uh, Muslim uh, uh, extremist group down south which is trying to seek secession from the government so when you're battling two fronts we just don't have the manpower and at that point in time I was very interested in the military um, and I decided to go for both fronts uh, as a young 110 pounder <laughs> we were trained on a nine pound m1 garand right exactly we were taught how to fire we were taught how how basically uh, every tactical military science to prepare us to fight some of my high school classmates had ended up serving for the philippine military and six seven years later i decided to leave the country and here I am, right? A different story, different video. So at that point in time, after being in the service for six years, I decided to purchase my first firearm, a P229, 40 caliber, six hour. I still have that. And for the last, what was that, 1993 when I bought that? In boot camp, in Marine Corps boot camp in San Diego. It wasn't until 2019, 2018 that I purchased my next firearm. So that was a span of 25 years. And now I, I, I have a couple, right? Uh, and and I, I, uh, it's a hobby of mine. I shoot anywhere from 200 to 300 rounds a week. As a matter of fact, I just got done reloading 500 plus rounds of 300 blackout because me and another shipmate uh, another united states navy veteran are going to the range tomorrow shoot and that's a hobby okay i reload and i'm 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 i'm, I'm a, i like tinkering with the mechanism as a matter of fact i just purchased a uh, optic here for my next ar and i just got done installing some uh, uh mounts on the red dot which is going on tomorrow when I get the new firearm. So I know a lot of people are cringing. Like, why does he need all of this stuff? So so now from there, right? 
So that's my hobby. Let's go to the political realm. Ever since I came to this country and raised my right hand, I had told the world that I will vote Republican. I had voted, tried to re-elect George Bush in the 90s. And then, uh, obviously, uh, the Democrats won. Uh, I have voted for, gosh, you name it, Bob Dole, John S. McCain, uh, everybody that was GOP on the thought that uh, they were great, or they have been great for the military. And my thought was so narrow-minded, I was focused on the military, and that's all I cared about. That was my need, and they provided the need for me. They provided that opportunity for me to acquire that need thoughtfully, because that's what I wanted, all right? And then this guy showed up in 2016. Uh, I gave him a chance for two years to 2018. I protected and I supported everything that he said. <sighs> then there came a point in time where I can no longer tolerate the values and the character that he possessed. I could no longer teach my kids the values that I know was right, what was ethical and morally bounding. Uh, and then I, that's when my departure from the GOP waned uh, or started. Because uh, I did some research on what really it stood for. Uh, and from then on, I became an independent. Now, granted, you can see, go to my social media site in Facebook. And uh, it's just that a couple of things that just alienates him. Right? So that's my position. So bear with me on this. What is the interrelationship of this two? I believe it is a very, very vital it's a valid point to explain that uh, gun violence now is politically oriented. Um, and you're going to bear with me on this. And you're going to be surprised. What is my position on guns? I believe on the Second Amendment. But the Second Amendment needs to be changed. I think it is obsolete for our time. Uh, it no longer conforms uh, to the current situation of the society we live in. Uh, it's, I still believe in its position in the Constitution, but it needs to be changed. We need to address this in two different directions. What does the Democrat think about it, and what does, what does the GOP think about it? In fairness to the GOP, okay, let's just cut to the chase. I'm independent now. I'm no longer a Republican, all right? So bear that in mind. In fairness to the GOP, there's no way that 300 million legally owned firearms in the whole country is just going to go away. Uh, I'm sorry, Democrats, but that's just the reality. Okay? Um, there are plenty, and I say it again, there are plenty of uh, responsible, accountable gun owning American citizens, U.S. citizens out there. And it's unfortunate that a few that are unstable are allowed to carry firearms in just in an uncontrolled fashion. And that's what's leading to all of these. I, uh, um, I was heading down south to Auburn, Washington to pick up a, a, uh, a part of a, for a rifle that I own. Getting home, found out in that morning it was a school shooting in Nashville. And I have kids, man. And we all have kids. And there's nothing more important to us than our children. Now, am I being emotional and being biased about this? Oh, hell yeah, I am. But hear me out first. Uh, I promised my daughter that on the way out I was going to see her. But I diverted my ways and ended up going back to University of Washington. Because I had placed my name on the volunteer program for the police police department. And I didn't care. I could scrub the toilet seats, answer the phone, say hi, hello to the front desk, you know, open the door for elderly and just... I'm not asking to go around with a fear of concepts, armor, uh, a plate carrier, uh, carrying a, a pistol and, and, you know, patrolling with the police officers on campus. I'm not asking that. I'm just asking... To do something. To do something. All right. What has that got to do with what the GOP has to think about? 
here's what it's not going to happen. There cannot be absolute absolutism in gun ownership. What that means is we just cannot arm everybody. In fairness to the Democrats, not everybody wants to fire a pistol. Got my best friend. She doesn't even want to see one. She's a nurse, for God's sakes. And she does not even want to hear it. She has seen enough. My, 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 my daughter was in middle school um, eight, was it eight years ago, nine years ago, where we had a, uh, a kid that shot up three kids in the high school. It was national news. Yeah, we, we, we are not alone. It's already happening. And you know what? God help you if it doesn't happen close enough to your family. Or gosh, man, God help us if it does ha God forbid. Um, it's already stunning. I am providing my kids. I am arming my kids now. My daughter with a 9mm MNP and my son with my P229 SIG 40 caliber. But one thing that makes me different from other parents, I am teaching them. That if you dis the only way I will hand you this, if you could prove to me the mechanics of this firearm, and if you are ready to own every bullet that comes out of that barrel, I still haven't given it to them because they're not ready yet. They're not ready yet. I don't even know if I am. All right? And I'm worried. I am worried. Just like most of these parents that takes their kids to the bus stop. To take the public, uh, the, the the school bus. My kids didn't kind of come home. All for what? We have a fetish. I hate to say that word. I was corrected at Facebook one time when I used it. For firearms, we have YouTubers talking about how to properly use a sling. You know. Um. I'm trying to fight the urge. Uh, to teach my kids uh, what to do, what not to do, how to behave, how, how, how to be great citizens of this country. And yet, we have citizens of this country that are just totally irresponsible. The society is built into social media to where discussions are no longer held. Um, conversations are no longer held. Somebody gets pissed off because of a line item on Facebook, which happens all the time, okay? Happens all the time. Somebody yells at me just today, told me to just go home, take your ass back to the Philippines and just stay there. Yeah, that, that was just now. So I just blurted back. But I'm not going to go out there and take a few of my uh, a firearm and just uh, lay down lead. I think we're a little bit more responsible than that. But we had been a victim of this, of this situation we place ourselves in. Um, there just cannot be an absolutism on firearm uh, ownership. There has to be certain rules and some guidelines. Guys, we, we Congress, uh, governors can't even create a law to raise the, the age uh, limit on, the, on who could purchase a firearm. Oh, no, the, uh, the extreme right is now going to say, oh, no, that, that's against the Constitution. You're, gonna, you're still going to get your firearm. You know, or uh, another week wait. You're still going to get the firearm. You know, it gives opportunity, may or may not happen. It gives the law enforcement community an opportunity to check up on your background. Oh, people are just, oh, they're just going to, you know, uh, you register. You fool, I mean, you already registered a firearm. Jesus Christ. Well, what, what more can give? A buy a grenade launcher? Or a javelin uh, anti-tank guided missile with its launcher? What's it going to take? Or uh, an M1 Abrams tank? Or a high-speed anti-radiation missile? A standard SM2 missile that can take a satellite? I mean, well, what's it going to take? we got to have some rules. My question is, what are you willing to do as a U.S. citizen to help out? Right? Well, I'm sorry. I'm pissed off. That's good. But what are you willing to do? Are you willing to teach your kids the right way? Are you willing to teach them how to converse properly? How, are you going to teach some others 
have a discussion, an honest discussion with them, you know? I've been flagged in the range many times for safety violations. My mistake. I'm accountable. I'm a big boy. I think I am. Question is, what are you willing to do as a citizen? Don't just lay out there and just, or go out there and vote. I don't, I don't care who you vote for. You know, isn't this what America is about? Free speech? Not getting irritated because somebody else doesn't believe in you or what you say? Or doesn't accept your beliefs and your notions? I posted on Facebook. That's why it's right here. America, let's see you admonish a man advocating at the top of his lungs who you'd spend a lifetime opposing at the top of yours. That is what we believe in, right? So respect somebody else for their own belief, totally opposite of yours. It goes back to firearms. No? It's a very generic topic. There's a lot of discussions. Some of them are not open-ended. Can't be answered by yes or no. But yet, here we are. We don't do anything to help ourselves. To meet in the middle, be bipartisan. No, there cannot be total absolutism on firearm ownership. And no, not, <laughs> not all these firearms are going to just go away. It's already out there. It's too late. So we have to meet in the middle, people. Or else more kids are going to die. And God, why the kids, man? And do shit to you. You know why? Because... They have nothing going for them, man. Huh? Nothing. They go for the innocent. I'm sorry. It's like this fool right now blaming everybody why he went, he got arraigned. Blaming the judge. He's blaming the wife of the judge. He's blaming the kids of the judge. That's how far we've been. Yeah, write a comment on this when I post it. And you can get, pick a number. That's my position. Total disclaimer. Okay, that's my position. If you guys don't like it, well, welcome to America. Because where I came from, after saying all of this, I may not be living the next day. So thank God I'm in this country. I'm very appreciative of that. To the men and women out there that are serving, that are deployed, that are gone away from home, there is a reason why yours truly is very appreciated what you do because the very reason why I do what I do or the very reason why I can do what I do is because of what you do. So you guys come on home. I understand. To their families, just be wary. They'll be home. You guys take care. Enjoy the evening. It's been a pleasure, a privilege, and an honor to have served with you guys. Enjoy the evening. Folks.